Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna share five essential keyboard shortcuts that every new digital artist needs to know in Photoshop. Let's get started. So the very first keyboard shortcut, shortcut that we're gonna use is Command-J. Command-J will duplicate a layer. And Control-J is on the PC side. Now, the cool thing about Command-J is you can also use it to duplicate a selection. If I were to take a lasso tool and say, uh, drag it around this train smokestack. If I hit Command J, that makes a copy of that selection on its own layer. So that's really, really useful. The second keyboard shortcut that I think all digital artists need to know is Shift Option Command N. That makes a blank layer. Now you can click on the new layer icon in the layers panel, but sometimes you just want to just be in the flow state where you're getting your work done and you don't want to have to reach for your mouse or move your stylus to the layers panel. So shift option command N will make a blank layer super fast. And if you hold down shift command N, it brings up the dialog so you can name it. The option in this particular case just, you know, makes that dialog box, uh, you know, disappear. It doesn't show up. So shift option command N. The third command that I think all digital artists need to know is option delete. What this will do is if I were to say, uh, pick a new layer here and pick an area that I would like to color, option delete will take whatever that color is and fill it in. So if I hit option delete, it fills the foreground swatch color with whatever color I have. So it's a really, really good keyboard shortcut that is also alt backspace on the PC side. Now, if I want to quickly adjust a color, I can use command U. That is the fourth essential keyboard shortcut that I think digital artists need to know. You can control the hue, you can control the saturation, or you can control the lightness. And this is a really quick way to dial in a very specific color without having to go to the swatches panel in Photoshop. All right, and then the last keyboard shortcut that I think is an absolute essential for artists is Command T. Command T brings up the transform tool. And with that, you can go ahead and scale or you, you, know, you can uh, rotate, you can do a lot of other types of manipulation on any object. Command T, is really, really powerful. Bonus tip, if you right click within the transform, you have the ability to adjust other parameters like skew, rotate, distort, perspective, and warp. Really, really awesome. So if you stuck with this video for this long, I do appreciate a subscribe and a like. I've got one more bonus tip that I think is also gonna be very, very useful. It's another keyboard shortcut. It's one for all of you that have stayed to watch the rest of this. If I wanted to, say select everything that's in the background. Right now I've got the selection on the sky, but what if I wanted to select everything else that's not the sky? Well, if I hold down Shift Command I or Shift Control I, that inverses my selection. And that makes it very easy for me to go ahead and fill color. So Shift Command I inverses the selection. So those are six keyboard shortcuts that are absolutely essential in my opinion that every new digital artist needs to know when they're using Photoshop. Now, I wanna hear from you. What do you think are your most essential keyboard shortcuts that you're using in Photoshop? Drop those in the comments below. Let's see if we have any overlap on that. If you find any value in this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Uh, please share your favorite tips in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.